guys, today we're going to be making scones, or you can be making scones, cheese scones. I will tell you when you're supposed to put the cheese in, but I won't be doing mine with cheese, I'm doing mine plain. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to put baking paper or lightly grease your tray. Next, you want to mix together the flour and the salt and rub the butter in. So, you need any self-rising flour will do. So, you need 225 grams of, of self-rising flour. So, I'm just going to put this in here. So that's 225 grams of self-rising flour. Next, you need a pinch of salt, which is, I just have normal table salt here. So, it's going to put a bit on my hand. So that's like way too much, so just a pinch. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Next, guys, you want to put butter in here. So I just got normal floral butter. Um, and you need to put in... 50 grams of butter. So I'm just going to put 50 grams of butter in here. There we go. And then you just want to rub this in to a like a crumbly consistency. And then once I've done that, I'll be back. So we're back, guys. I've done it into a crumbly consistent there. As you can see, let me just get some of this off my hands. Next, guys, you want to add. So this is the point where you want to add the cheese. If you're going to add cheese, guys, um, got to buy milk to create a soft dough, guys. So milk, you need to add 150 mils of milk into here. So I actually have a pair of scales down here, guys. That's how I'm measuring it up. So I have 150 ml of milk and then you need to basically mix this in a bit before you obviously get it out. And just a quick, if you were wondering why I'm doing this in a saucepan, I don't have a bowl. <laughs> I might just look for one tomorrow. So I'm just going to roll this in some of it so it starts going to the dough form. So, once you've got it in a pot of dough form, you need to take your hand in there and start kneading and trying to get it together into a ball. It's going to stick to your hands. I know that. So. So, like, once you can get it mostly into a ball, it's going to be like this because of the milk and things. So, what you want to do is basically want to put some flour on the surface and you want to take it out because the next thing you need to do is knead it all into a ball so I'm just getting all the I can out of this pot there we go so you want to let me just get rid of this spoon so now you basically just want to knead it let me just push this down a bit for you guys. So you want to keep kneading and kneading and kneading until you have a perfect dough. So I might have to wash this hand because it is just like sticking to it that time. So you just want to keep kneading guys until it forms a dough. Then once you have formed a dough, perfect soft dough, you basically want to Flour your surface again, roll the dough out so it's two centimetres thick and then use a cutter cutter to um, cut the scones out and place them on a baking tray. So that's what we need to do next. Oh, this is actually coming off my hands without needing it. So. so let me just knead this up. Put that in there. So 
So now that I have some dough here, guys, all I want to do is I want to get some flour and I want to put it on the surface. Take your bird dough, take your rolling pin, guys, and roll it out. So it might grow a bit while you're trying to do this. Because it's flour and it's got stuff in it that likes to make roll. So this should make about 8 to 12, depending on how big you do them. My cutter is this, guys. So I'm just going to roll this out. So once you have it about two centimeters thick, I'm just going to give it one more roll over this way. It keeps sticking. You can just put some flour on your rolling pin if you You take your cutter and you cut them in. So there's one of my scones. And then you just want to basically, guys, place it in that baking tray you have. And just do the same thing again. And so you completely covered your tray. Once you've covered your tray, guys, you need to have the oven on. So you need to, by this point of cutting them up, you need to turn your oven on, guys, to four, 200 fan. If you have a fan oven. Um, if you have a gas oven, it's gas mod six, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna put these in here. I can flatten that out. So, um, so I'm just putting it here in my oven now as I'm doing this. Um, so, and then once you put them in, guys, you need to bake them for 15, 12 to 15 minutes. Um, or until they look nice and golden on the top. Um, but before you put them in, guys, I missed one little slight thing. You need to brush them with a bit of milk, which is, I don't have a brusher, so... I'm going to use my finger to do this, that bit. So I reckon we'll get more than 12 out of this. So there's already two, four, six, eight in there. So let's see, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, I already got 12 out of that bit of dough and I can roll this out again so I'm going to be back with you guys when these are cut after about 15 12 to 15 minutes um and I'll show you what they look like hey guys I just wanted to show you um that I finished so these are all of them here they're very fucking hot right now so I've just finished cooking them I actually got two four six six eight ten twelve fourteen six 18, 21, about 26 I think I just counted the out of it so that's guys that's how you make scones or cheese scones whatever you want to add cheese so peace out I hope you enjoyed how to watch homemade scones